Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to Mad 18 on EA Sports. Ahead, we've got a matchup of young signal callers who both saw their seasons come to a premature end last year. It's fourth-year man Derek Carr and third-year man Marcus Mariota. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Larry. We welcome everyone to the Music City, just a stone's throw from the Country Music Hall of Fame. We are at Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans get set to match up with the Oakland Raiders. And hello again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon here in the booth. And Chuck, you take a look at this matchup. I don't know if it's going to be one in the trenches from the quarterbacks out, whatever. It's going to be a good game. Oh, without a doubt. I can't wait to see the big fellas have an impact. We're always spotlighting those wide receivers and quarterbacks and running backs and even the defensive backs. But the big guys, I can't wait to see which one tilts the balance for their team. Ryan Suckup of the Titans has this one teed up, and we are underway from Nissan Stadium. To return, it's DeAndre Washington. <laughs> and he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. Derek Carr, he'll be the one leading the troops. Pro Bowl quarterback in his fourth year now out of Fresno State. And I remember when he was a prospect coming out of college and people were wondering about different parts of his game, what all came together nicely in 2016. Had the Raiders at 11 and three, had them thinking Super Bowl before an injury finished his season. They're counting on him to take them to new heights. carry here's Marshawn Lynch and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first no surprise watching Marshawn Lynch scatter bodies as he runs but I remember doing games of his at Cal and I remember the moves the jump cuts the elusiveness as well as the strength And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They run again on first down, Lynch. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And that might be Titan football. It is. They may have the edge on the scoreboard, but that hasn't made them passive, has it? I mean, they've, they've dialed up a pretty good run blitz there. And, and, and Brandon, you know that all blitzes aren't just designed to get to the quarterback and the passer. Sometimes you're just trying to take away every gap, every hole that might be created in the running game, and they did it to perfection and caused a fumble there. Took away the gaps, took away the holes, took away the football. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Mariota now after the fumble recovery. Rashard Matthews here on the catch. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. When you decide to run a hitch route, it really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Now here's the first carry for DeMarco Murray. And he is knocked down from the side at the 23. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. 
I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. To throw Mariota. The swing pass caught. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Jay Samaro, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Titans have taken a first quarter lead. And nowadays in NFL football, you have to account for all the receivers, sure, but the tight end's such a weapon, and they prove it right there. Oh, without a doubt. And we're seeing now the golden age of tight ends catching the football. I go back to Kellen Winslow. Uh -huh. To me, he was a prototype of what we're seeing today. We're seeing it each and every week now. And this is good. Our score, 7-0 Tennessee. The drive there only spanning three plays. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. They'll start on the ground with Lynch. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Now that's how you start to get back in the good graces of your head coach. Remember, he fumbled on the last possession. How about the faith they showed him? Giving him the ball again, and he repaid him, picking up a first down. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. They go play action here on first down. And he's got him in. It's the former Titan, Jared Cook. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A very solid gain of 27. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. And now a first down following that long game. play fake here on first down and he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line another nice gain 16 yards there at a first down again one thing i can say pretty safely 
that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Well, the offense lining up first and ten. First down, the run with Lynch. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second down following the run. Gives to Lynch on the draw. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets them up now first and goal. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So it'll be first down here after the run. Working from the gun, it's Carr. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. They stop short, down at the one. Had the great move, but couldn't get it all the way home. A gain of seven that time, second goal. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. at one and it's car and this is caught touchdown Raiders Seth Roberts a one-yard touchdown reception and the Raiders they're within an extra point of tying this thing up well that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game that was a super quick game out of the hands of the thrower Bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And marching back out there now, the Raiders' defense gets ready. And they gave up a touchdown last drive. You kind of need to hit the reset button after every touchdown given up, Charles. I love that. And, and the way that you phrased it is perfect because... From series to series, you can reset how the game is going to go. If you gave up a touchdown before, it doesn't mean you have to do it again. And if you made a great play before, you have to reset again anyway because they're going to attack. So I love the way you phrased it and put it out there. That's what they have to do in this series. It's not like when you're playing a video game. You can't hit the reset button here. Let's go. No, you shouldn't anyway. That's for sure. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. 
Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Again, it's Murray. And he'll be knocked down sideways right on the 30-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Mariota from the gun on third down. And able to find Decker. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Mariota throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for DeMarco Murray out of the backfield, and it's second down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Working out of the gun, Mariota. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. So now at third and seven, and defensively, it's a dime look. Six DBs. To the air again, Mariota. They set up the screen for Henry. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. That worked very well there for a first down. So the offense has it first and 10. Here's Murray. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Now it's second and seven. They go with Murray again. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. No other way to say it, but it was an off year for DeMarco Murray in Philadelphia and Chip Kelly's offense. Didn't really seem to be a fit. But when he went to Tennessee playing for Mike Malarkey, boy, did he fit in a big way. Finished third in the NFL in rushing behind Ezekiel Elliott and the late charging Jordan Howard. He was ahead of Howard much of the year. I remember Coach Malarkey in preseason said, DeMarco Murray's my number one back. He'll get plenty of carries here, and he did. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Mariota on first down. And Matthews over the middle with a grab. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. 
So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. On first down, Murray. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. But that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Inside the red zone, and that means don't come away from there with anything less than three points, but everyone's thinking about six. They're trying to get to the end zone. They decide to run a toss. Big people up front being mobile and moving, and a running back trying to follow behind them to find the yardage, and that's exactly what he did. They'll try to run for it with Henry. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Still second. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Second and goal, but still a decent chunk of yardage here. They're on the eight. And it'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use... The back end of the end zone, the sidelines is extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Third and goal, Mariota. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Extra point try now for Sucka. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. One quarter in the books. 14-7 is the score. We're back to Nashville right after this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Titans with a football here to begin quarter number two, as we'll see one following the score on the final play before break.
Now here's Suck about to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Able to slither by. And now running right through it. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Marcus Mariota and the offense heading back out for their next possession. Previous drive, pretty good. Touchdown pass, five of six. And when you're that sharp, when you're that strong in your passing game, now you feel like you can have a variety of throws to make. It doesn't have to be one simple throw. It doesn't have to be just a deep ball downfield. You can throw the intermediate game because confidence continues to grow. Similar to what you're doing in the Turkey Bowl every year, yeah, right? right? With your quarterback and your family's yeah, team. Yeah, something like that. They don't even let me play. I sit oh, on the, no. I make the hot chocolate on the sideline. <laughs> and I make a mean hot chocolate. I'm coming over just for that. Card out of throw. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. He'll keep pounding here with Lynch. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall around 37. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Throwing his car on third down. And that's complete to Walford. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. Now, whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. That's on the big guard, Gabe Jackson. Still first down. Fall 
following the penalty. Lynch, and no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Car to throw on second down. Connects it to Roberts, right side. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Foster offense. A nickel set shown by the Titans on third down. They can pass. And now movement again, and they'll march even further backward. Just a yard or two shy of the 30. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short, and it's fourth down. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker, despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. Well, that's third down 101. you got to go to the marker, know where it is. And on this challenge, the refs have to take a peek and see whether or not the receiver was able to dot the eye with both feet. While making sure that he possesses the football all the way through the catch. getting set following the call of that timeout. So on fourth down, off goes Carr, and on is Sebastian Janikowski. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. I don't think this will even, nope, it doesn't even get there. Well short, and this score will stay right where it is. So a bit of a weird kick there. That wasn't an overly long attempt, but that never had a chance. You almost wonder if he might have maybe got that one on the laces because it kind of knuckled on him a bit. And this one winds up in empty possession. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Open now to get back in the end zone on this fourth possession. After the missed kick, they're in really good position. They'll begin this drive at the 39 now. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Here's Murray now as they run it to start the drive. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Now a second down run for Murray. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. The Titans on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and nine. From the gun, Mariota. Trying to force it to his tight end, Walker, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Reggie Nelson. And a return across midfield into the 46-yard line. Well, I tell you, you can't fault the pass protection here. He had all day to throw, and he just couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. And quarterbacks will tell you that after a while, they start getting antsy back there. So this is just a great job defensively to stay with these receivers as long as they did. So out come the Raiders. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Now after the INT, it's Carr. shot in there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Cordero Patterson the one he was hoping to get it to. And that'll bring up second down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Second down, Lynch. Lynch busting free. And able to use his stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down. A pretty good gain. That one good for 10 yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it. And boy, the reward was there. A big big pickup and guess what it's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down they'll run it here's Lynch and he gets it to the 34 good enough for the first they only get two there but on third and one that's all they needed to keep the drive going well if we had any questions that run kind of answered him. He's still Marshawn Lynch. Hasn't lost a thing. Maybe running with a renewed sense of purpose and energy after that year off. And looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. Offense. 
Shotgun now for Carr. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and ten. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. Gave a glimpse of his power, but not a whole lot of space. Down at the 30. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The Raiders on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and six. From the gun, it's Carr. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. Yeah, that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. So on fourth down, off goes Carr, and on is Sebastian Janikowski. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is. So it's a rare two-miss ball game for him now. Normally one of the more dependable guys you're going to find around. Very unlike him. One of the better kickers in the NFL. And I don't think there's anything wrong with him physically or mechanically. He's just having one of those games. Marcus Mariota getting ready to go again here on offense. And he's looked pretty good. Does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes so far. Your analysis. They'll take the offset. When you talk about throwing two touchdown passes, no one wants to see an interception thrown, but those things happen in the course of a ball game and over the course of a season. But throwing two touchdown passes, that's why the team has an advantage. That's what they're looking for more of. They'll be hoping to make it a 3-1 to one ratio here in the second quarter. Good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal. Here's first down from the 42. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. It's a big play on third down for the Titans. 45 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Find a way to stretch their lead. 
I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And DeMarco Murray, the one to finish it off with a touchdown run. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. Now I'm not going to say you completely abandon the passing game, but it would really behoove them to get this running game going more. That's the identity most teams are seeking. Able to establish themselves, control the game by running it, have to touch it multiple times in order to have success in this game. Yeah, as we say, yeah, that's right. As we say all the time, that sets up the passing game. I feel like a broken record with that. Listen, we can be broken records all we want. Bottom line is, lather up that big horse <laughs> and let him run. On first and ten, here's Carr. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. It's funny, when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper, and we mentioned, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically what he <laughs> said, right? I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. Still first down. If you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Carr gives to Marshawn. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Throwing on third and long. Carr, he's going to wind up and air it out. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. It's a big play for the Raiders on third down. 43 yards. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch.
Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to Tennessee after this. A reminder coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before that. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. to throw his car over the middle Cooper with it and down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. down his car and nearly picked off surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away but it does get away at its second down pretty nice coverage there but a missed opportunity for an interception let's face it a lot of these defenders they've got it all speed athleticism hands a little bit questionable to the air on second down. It's Carr. They dump it off to Lynch. And he will force his way forward for a yard or two, but I have a good feeling this will be coming back. Holding offense. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction. Defense. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but... I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. Again, they'll throw with Carr. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Throwing on third and long. 
Carr looking for his running back, and he's got him. Now another timeout here called by the Titans. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. So on fourth down, off goes Carr, and on is Sebastian Janikowski. From the left hash, this from 37. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, but the net gain, three points. And you're going to have drives like that in this league. Sometimes you just got to take the three and move on. Always better than nothing. to the made field goal. Here's Sebastian Janikowski to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. DeMarco Murray and company heading back onto the field. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. down, Mariota to Decker over the middle and he's brought down after a good game a good pick up there, 22 I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size, the slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness their speed and their route running savvy Jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. On second down, Mariota again. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. The Titans on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and ten. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Now, Whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime.
So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. In his 10th year, here's Brett Kern to punt this one. Back deep for the Raiders, Jalen Richard. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Start the drive with Lynch. And an alley to run. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he's brought down after a good game. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. On first down, Carr. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we've reached halftime here in Nashville, the Music City, with the Titans out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. The Titans are up right now and are looking to keep up the pressure moving forward. The Raiders won't panic either. They know they just need to take it one play at a time. So here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Now first and 10, on the run, the ball comes loose. He'd make a count, running for 28 yards on the play. Now after the fumble, Mariota's on target here, and it ends up working for a touchdown as they put the first points on the board. First and 10, comes by himself here, and he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to the 37-yard line. Raiders still on the field. Carr has got the completion here, and it's caught for the score. Raiders tie it up at seven. Titans line up at the three. Mariota to the first receiver selected in this year's draft, Corey Davis. And he kept off the long drive with the TD. Titans up now by seven. Titans take over late in the second. Murray's got it off the left side here, and he'd go in for the three-yard touchdown. That puts them on top by 14. All right, Larry, these two teams back out there as we get set and ready for this second half. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. They built a good first half lead, now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff 
spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to let this one go deep. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. So the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Throwing again, Mariota on second and ten. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. The Titans on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Here's Brett Kern now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away. And boy, it's another boomer. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Raiders will take possession. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the latter 50%. To the right side, he's got Cooper. It's complete. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. Get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. Okay. So second and ten here. Working from the gun, it's Carr. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 35. It's a big play there for Oakland. 42 yards. comes to the line now first and ten they'll run with Marshawn Lynch and he's going to get this one down to the 30 give him a couple on the carry there second and eight
Again, they'll pound it with Lynch. And he'll fall forward to the 29-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. The Raiders on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and seven. Operating from the gun, Carr. And that is incomplete. So on fourth down, off goes Carr, and on is Sebastian Janikowski. From the left hash, this from 46. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe, and the drive will wind up yielding three. A decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvage three out of it, but they do inch a bit closer. Yeah, still lots of time to go in this one. Take the points, move on, and let your defense try to get the ball back. After the made field goal, here's Sebastian Janikowski to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Out come the Titans now. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They go play action here on first down. Going deep now for Decker. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Sean Smith. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Marshawn Lynch heading back out into the huddle. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him, maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now Lynch. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. They'll run again with Lynch. And he's brought down. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. 
Really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. Lynch <laughs> and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain it's a six yard pickup but it gets him to second and four and that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game so how has he done it because he's been patient followed his blocks let everything develop and then burst through for big gains Now they'll throw with Carr. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Oh, he will not go down. Have to retake those ankles. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. set of downs here. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Now Carr throwing on second down. The quick slant caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The offense on third down tonight. Three for seven so far in this game. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Third down, they go Lynch. And not only will he not get the few inches he needs, he's going to go backwards. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll bring up fourth down. Make it now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing. But he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now. Making some big time plays, getting into the offense's backfield and spilling everything. And Janikowski bangs it through and high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high as he once had six oh, field oh, goals. Oh, Brandon, but, but six? Let's hope we don't get that again, <laughs> please. Okay, can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. After the made field goal, here's Sebastian Janikowski to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. 
but let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. They'll try and get the running game going here with Murray. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Second down, Mariota. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. The Titans on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five. To throw Mariota. It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose. And the Raiders are in for six. Touchdown. So a big turn of events there. This defense makes the play. They return it for the score, and now they have the lead. So much for ball security for the offense. Playing with a lead in the second half. They give the ball up, and all of a sudden they're behind. Big time fumble. And they will line up now for the two-point try. They'll try and run it here. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage back to the four-yard line. And in the third quarter here, they were trying to push that to a three-point game, but instead it will stay at one. And I'm a big proponent of not chasing points or going for two too early. But in this case, I understand why. You know, if you kick an extra point, you're just up two, yeah. right? So a field goal still puts the other team ahead. So you go for two here and protect the field goal lead. They didn't get it done, though. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them, <laughs> the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant, you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. If we were down there, that message would have been received a whole different way because turnovers, they've been a big problem for them. Got to take care of the football. Got to hold on to it. A play fake to Murray. Now Mariota. Wide open receiver complete. And he's able to get this one up to the 45-yard line. 23 yards on the play. There's a good push to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? the offense lining up first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Well, that play was doomed right from the start. 
He yeah, just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. say that this could be huge forget it it was huge gave him a comfortable lead Janikowski now for the point after And with that, the lead is up to eight. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. They had that lead, looked pretty comfortable in the first half, maybe got a little bit overconfident because that's gone now. Almost takes us back to being kids, doesn't it? Because I know at some point your dad did the exact same thing mine did. Okay. It's okay to be confident, son, but overconfident, <laughs> that's not a good thing. And that's maybe what we saw here. They thought they had this thing in hand, had full control, and guess what? They've got to find a way to get back to where they were before. You think Papa Davis and Papa Gordon would get along? I think they'd get along just fine. <laughs> and you know something? They'd still be giving us advice. Absolutely. They run with Murray. What a spin. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. Carries piling up. It's Murray again. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Cleo Mack's starting to get a really big-time reputation as a pass rusher, and rightly so. So explosive off the edge getting to the quarterback. But he doesn't neglect his run duties as well. How about that tackle right there? Such a package he has. Able to play the run and the pass so well. The Titans on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This time it's third and three. Working out of the gun, Mariota. Walker with a grab, left side. A Titan first down, Mariota to Walker. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. 
Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Incomplete. Second down now after the incompletion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Titans on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and nine. Off play action to Henry. Here's Mariota. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep blow with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. offense now they trot back out and last time they got three points but it was a chip shot field goal and when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal maybe the offense not too happy it's a balancing act isn't it because you're exactly right they're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points but they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board three and, points is three points and in this league <laughs> you take points when you can get them not easily done Lynch and yeah, nice yardage right off the bat here as he's up to about the 24 yard line he'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run and it's second and four Brand is all about pace and tempo now for them they've got the advantage so I'm gonna put musical terms for you you don't want to go prestissimo that's too quick too lively right but you also don't want to slow it down too much you don't want to go lento what you really want to be is moderato. Uh, nice and even, uh, nice and steady. Get those gains and close out the game. I think that chicken parm from last night's gone to your head. <laughs> and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. now on first down. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. No gain and it's second down. 
Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. And on second and ten now. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. The Raiders on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This time they face a third and two. Carr looking to throw on third and two. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Carr to Crabtree. Good for a Raider first down. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Now Carr. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And down inside the 15 he goes. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. Back to the ground, Lynch. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the eight yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Now Carr. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Jarrell Casey in there to get him for a loss of three, and it'll be fourth down. That's something you see a whole lot of, a sack of Derek Carr and due in large part to a good O-line. Carr was sacked on less than 3% of his dropbacks last year, lowest in the league. Oakland knew it was important to take care of their quarterback. They picked up Donald Penn, Kalechi Osemele, and Rodney Hudson in recent years, and it's paid off. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And Janikowski bangs it through, and that will extend their lead even further. So a big one there as that gives them a little cushion. And you know, here in the fourth quarter, the fact that they were able to bleed some time off the clock and put points on the board, even if it's only three, that could turn out to be the drive that ultimately wins them the game.
Now after the made field goal, here's Sebastian Janikowski to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut it, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if some got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. A first down throw for Mariota. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down at the 33. Decent start to the drive there. Of course, they need the touchdown, two-point conversion, and a field goal. Yeah, those guys are into it. How about the guys on the sidelines? You see the coaches signaling, all the personnel groups up on the sideline ready to go in and out of the game. They've got to condense their time now in order to try and get back into it. Mariota now on second down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. and 10. Here's Mariota. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Walker. And he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down Titans gain of 12. Partner it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now isn't it because when the big fellow runs routes it used to be when we were kids he'd run about three different routes and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. So the offense has it first and 10. They'll throw again. Mariota. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. A second down throw here for Mariota. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Some inequalities coaches tick off when they talk about, hey, what is it going to take to make an excellent quarterback? Accuracy has to rank near the top of every list. Talk about arm strength. That's great. Mobility, great. But you need that accuracy in there. That one well in front of his man. Yeah, now they got to face a big third down. Understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he hits his man, Matthews. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 20 that time. And that'll be good for a Tennessee first. 
felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Mariota now to throw on first down. And his throw is incomplete. One of his main targets, Delaney Walker, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Second down, Mariota again. Over the middle, Sharks got it complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Mariota to Sharp that time for a Titan first. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. So here we go, first and ten now. Mariota again. That is caught at the seven. And eventually brought down, but it's near the five at the six. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. readies for play number 10 of this series. They'll try to run it in with Murray. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Now a second down throw for Mariota. It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose, and the Raiders pick it up. He's at the 50, the 40, the 20, 10, 5. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for six and a Raider touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. And that's what they've done all game long. Janikowski on for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. 
This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they'll be looking to start fresh. Just a moment ago, they were backed up, coughed up the football, and then saw it go the other way for six points. I just wonder, partner, sometimes they put such an emphasis on things. And you know in that situation, as they ran out there, they were told, take care of the football, don't cough it up. And sometimes that's the last thing you hear, and that's exactly what you do. Jay Sharp, the intended target. And now it's second down. Ten yards still left on second down. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The Titans on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and 10. From the gun, Mariota. Throw left side complete. It's Walker. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And this is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point? The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> Super toe. First down, the run with Lynch. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment defense. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves.
This is Lynch. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. The Raiders on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and eight. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. So on fourth down, off goes Carr, and on is Sebastian Janikowski. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. And Janikowski bangs it through, and that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's a 21-point game. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. to the main field goal. Here's Sebastian Janikowski to kick it away. Here's Eric Weems now on the return. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Mariota on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. <laughs> Throwing again. Mariota on second and ten. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll lead here to a third down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. He's going to let it fly. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Jay Samaro. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Titans are able to close the gap just a bit. So he's hit Pater twice, but still they're facing that deficit here in the second half. So they're going to see if they can continue to find ways to get him the football because obviously something is working for him to find the end zone twice. And however this turns out, he's going to be hard to deal with in the film room, isn't it? He's going to want to know why he's not getting more passes thrown to him. Those big tight ends are getting greedy. And the lead will be cut down to 14. 
So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it ends with a Tennessee score. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And did the Titans get this? Yes, Tennessee football. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They're in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. Should have been picked off, really. But second down instead. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And we're hitting the end of this one, and it looks to probably be the final play. One last shot now for Mariota. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we sign off from Nashville.